Hi there. This is the Kasparov A4 line in the Taimanov variation of the Benoni, and it's from the game Kasparov against John Nunn, Luzerne, 1982. D4 and knight f6, c4, and the Benoni with c5. White drives forward, gaining space with d5, e6, challenges the center, and knight c3 supports the pawn on d5. e takes d5, c takes d5. This is all theory. d6, and now white uh, secures a solid center himself with, with e4. g6, where black's great uh, fianchetto, the king's bishop, and f4, bishop, g7. And here Kasparov went for the dreaded Taimanov attack, which uh, nearly put the Benoni out of commission. Theory recommends that the knight on f6 drops back here to d7. And Kasparov's line here is by far the most common line in this position. And it's this move a4, which has been embraced by players of all levels. Black will usually castle in this position, but can also try alternatives. Gelfand has suggested and played Queen H4, and Defermian has played A6, but we're looking at this sideline move, Knight A6, which several top players have played. This is met by Knight F3, and after Knight to B4, White's going to castle, and once the bishop now on b5 is challenged with a6, Kasparov's idea is simply to trade, not to withdraw the bishop, but trade. Bishop takes on d7, since after bishop takes d7, White's going to continue with the aggressive f5. Still, really, black shouldn't have too much to worry about, and it's pretty much close to equal, but it's a dynamic position and can change quite quickly. So black here castles, also possible as g takes on f5. Now bishop g5 is one move, bishop f4 could have been played as well. After bishop g5, the queen's being targeted. When I saw this position, I couldn't see too much wrong with the move bishop f6, even trading that uh, Benoni bishop, but that's such an important piece in the Benoni for black that black players are loath to trade there the Benoni bishop. So f6 is going to be more common. And now the bishop is going to go back to f4, hitting the pawn on d6. And again, looking at this position, I couldn't see too much wrong with playing queen c7 to defend. However, there is a, an idea here, which John Nunn played, where black can give up this pawn on d6, as he did, but that's going to be losing. After g takes on f5, Allowing bishop takes on d6. Black's idea was the bishop now on d7 is going to take on a4 so that the queen can recapture on d6. But this trappy idea doesn't work. It backfires and black ends off losing. White's going to take the bishop on a4 with a rook. Queen takes d6 and it's quickly over. Knight h4 means that knight is heading for the important f5 square. So f takes on e4, knight f5 targeting the queen, the queen back to d7, and now the other knight picks up the other pawn. Knight on c3 takes on e4, and when the king goes to safety in the corner, king h8, knight takes c5, and it's pretty much game over. What could happen here is if uh, black John Nunn would have played queen takes on, on d5, white could continue queen takes on d5, Knight takes on d5, and then knight e6 hits the rook, hits the bishop. It's going to win at least the exchange with a totally one position for white. So this has been the Kasparov A4 line in the Taimanov variation of the Benoni. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.